So here we have multiple methods before having delay analysis investigation or forensic schedule analysis. The first one we will study, we will learn how to apply logic checks, schedule constraints, critical paths method analysis, resource leveling. By the application of all these techniques, you will be able to rate or to rank your project schedule into which you are going to make your investigation for delay analysis and construction claims. So let's start with logic checks. The first thing in logic checks, schedule health indicators. It will help, this logic will help you to identify are there are certain parameters which you have to keep in your mind. Uh, there certain limit will help you to understand either project schedule is uh, as per project management standards or it is just made on, you know, without any baseless logics. P6, I mean, Primavera P6 has built in health indicators that can be used to check the overall health of the project. These indicators include the number of open ends, the number of activities with missing logics and the total float value. When you're going to compile any project schedule baseline, there are sometimes, you know, this is the kind of a very laborious work. So maybe you forgot to uh, in network some activity and there is no pre successor activity. Uh, there is open activity. There are some wrong uh, dependencies has been created by the uh, workload and because it's computer uh, sitting work. So maybe sometime it's not in your mind. So it is the, you know, kind of thing you can make reverse engineering and identify if there is something missing. Because in delay analysis, everything will be depending on the baseline schedule quality. If you are working at that time and you are expecting Primavera P6 to show you the right numbers, but there are some misleading logics present in your schedule, which will not help you in that accurate way. So next logic checks, how to do this one, ensure that the project schedule has a logical sequence of activities. Activities should have predecessors. Same thing I have been explaining just in the previous slide. P6 can uh, perform automatic logic checks on the schedule to identify issues. That's the same thing. And how to do it in Primavera P6. So I will first share with you guys the slide of Primavera P6 dashboard. And here we have a project in which we are going to make this practical Primavera P6 application. Okay, so let's get back to that slide again, that how to do in Primavera P6. So it's very simple. I'll share with you the whiteboard and here I will perform without having any other thing. You know, there is Primavera P6, one very uh, famous command F9. I, either you can press on your keyboard F9 or you can search this um, feature on the header of your pro Primavera P6 that is called schedule. So I will identify both things and I will share with you the slide of Primavera P6 dashboard and you can see over here uh, F9 will take me to this window and same result will be over here, schedule, okay, this one. And just click this one. Now this window will help you to identify all those logics, what I was talking about, view log. You have to the next thing after schedule tab clicking, you have to click on view log. Let me complete it. You have to go into view log, okay? Because these things are very important. Initially, you have to write down and then you will grip on these things in very uh, frequent way. And here I am. Just let me again share with you this thing to make sure you can have all the visualization. Okay. So here I am. And schedule, view log. And this file I will share, this notepad file will be generated on your screen. And now this is going to tell you that what is the name of your project and uh, scheduling, yes, leveling, no, these things has not been ap uh, applied so far. So let's statistics, project one, total activities 124, not started. It's actually baseline. Actually, we are going to make uh, our forensic schedule analysis. So we are actually having schedule quality on the 
baseline program completed nothing relationship 175 relationships have been created among 124 activities activities with constraints nothing so actually we are going to study each and every so it's going to give you information that what exact things you have okay so you have some idea now now let's move on errors and warnings there are certain activities like this activity in your schedule with this id setup of temporary facilities at site these are open uh, like uh, there is no predecessor there is no um, you know uh, driving activity this activity is not depending this is independent activity itself it should be in the network you got my point and then this activity has no predecessor and same way these are open ended activities in your schedule and then out of sequence nothing it's quite good schedule and then scheduling labeling results same thing data date the project schedule till uh, you know it started it's assumed first january 2021 and uh, then say exceptions critical activities information these are all on the critical path okay now you can have a very quick review with your project manager uh, uh, you know you can put some wish list activities as per your experience exposure are available conditions of your construction site to believe that yes primavera p6 is going to make the things in very right way because all things are described over here as well okay activities with uh, unsatisfied constraints there is no constraint so these things will be shown over here one by one okay so i will indicate uh, you know the range because there should not be any constraint we will study into constraints as well because it will drive cpm as per you know um, fabricated cpm you can see not a real one so you can have the view in this sheet and it will help you to understand if there is open ended activity if there is some independent activity we can fix them in baseline and then we can proceed 